In this lesson, we're going to look at the video capture function of Logger Pro and how we can use it to analyze the motion of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion. What I've already done is I've videotaped the, a mass oscillating on a spring, and I've used the Logger Pro software to plot its position as time was going along. And of course, as we do that, Logger Pro automatically plots the position of the object in the y-axis with time and also its position along the x-axis with time. And since we're only interested in the motion of the object in the y-axis, I'll go ahead and choose that to be my axis here on the vertical where we still have time along the horizontal. Usually with simple harmonic motion, we're also interested in how the velocity and the acceleration change with time. So what I'm going to do is insert another graph and choose the y velocity so that we can now scale this to where we can see the, x, the displacement along the y-axis at the same time that we're looking then at the position of the object along the y-axis. So we'll rescale this. I'm going to make it quite small because I also want to be able to fit onto this eventually how the acceleration of the object is changing. So simply by clicking on the tabs and moving them, you can rescale the graphs so that now I can see how the displacement along the y-axis has changed with time and at the same time how the velocity has changed. Now Logger Pro automatically does displacements and velocities but to do acceleration we've got to have Logger Pro calculate the acceleration as the object was moving. And to do that what we're going to do is go to data and then insert a new calculated column. Now I've already done that here and I labeled the name of the column as acceleration, the short name being A and then its units as meters per second and then here in this box is where we enter our calculation for whatever we want the column to be. Now since I was wanting acceleration I know that the derivative of velocity and time will give me acceleration so I chose under calculus the derivative and then under variables the y velocity and in doing that it is now calculated what the acceleration is as the object was undergoing simple harmonic motion. So now I'll insert another graph that would be acceleration and time and I will scale it so that we can see how the velocity, the displacement, and the acceleration all vary for the same object undergoing simple harmonic motion. And for each of these now, I'll add a line of best fit. So I'll go to Analyze and choose a curve. And since it is a sine function, we'll choose Sine and click OK. And you can see that that line fits our data quite well. We'll do the same thing for Velocity. Choose Curve Fit and the Sine function and how the displacement and the velocity change and then do the same thing for acceleration, curve fit, assign function, try the fit and choose OK. And now you can see how as the displacement was changing, what was happening to the acceleration, 
and what was happening to the velocity all at the same time.